thank goodness for this guy. I appreciate you. All right, let's talk about this guy right here. The S Pen Stylus is, without a doubt, the headlining feature for any Galaxy Note device, including the upcoming Note 20. Let's just hope the price is not too savage. Come on, Samsung. We all know Samsung's gonna try to blow us away with all the ways it can improve our work and life. Hi everyone, Tao here. I've been using the Note line for two years now. So you know your girl's got some experience under her belt. There are tons of things you can do with the S Pen, but how many of these things are actually practical for everyday use? In reality, there's only a handful of things I use the S Pen for regularly. So if you're curious, let me walk through how I personally use it, and maybe it might give you an idea of how you might use it. All right, let's start the show. This is gonna sound really silly, but the thing I use the S Pen for the most is selecting and copying text that I normally wouldn't be able to. For example, if you're watching this video on your phone, expand the description and try to select and copy some text. You can't, right? I run into this in various apps all the time. It's so frustrating. Okay, so the S Pen lets you select text you normally can't by holding down the side button as you drag over the words. Now you can copy or share it. Such a simple and trivial thing, but easily my most used feature. Sometimes even that fails though. Take comments on a YouTube video. Even with the S Pen, you can't select the text. In these scenarios, I'll swap over to Smart Select, draw a box around the text I need, hit Extract Text, and bam, it pulls out the text for me, ready to copy or share. The formatting might be a little wonky, but hey, it's still faster than typing the whole thing out manually. The best part is that it works for text that's in a picture too. Since we're on the topic of Smart Select, I often like to send off screenshots of cool pics or motivational quotes to people. Yes, I'm that corny. The accuracy of the S Pen along with Smart Select allows me to screenshot exactly what I need and cut out what I don't. This saves a good amount of time since I otherwise would have to take a normal screenshot, then edit that screenshot to crop out what I don't want. I mean, most screenshot editors have automatic snapping nowadays, but I found the S Pen with Smart Select to still be faster and more accurate. Translating text from different languages is another big use for me. I get comments in different languages all the time. For example, Mario Santiago here left this comment in what I assume is Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, but I want to know what Mario is saying. There's a couple of ways to get the job done. So the first one is with Samsung's own translate tool in the air command menu where you can hover over words or paragraphs and it'll do the translation. It can sometimes struggle with selection of entire paragraphs, so it's not my favorite way to do it. I actually prefer Google Translate instead. I'll highlight his comments with the S Pen, hit the translate button in the pop-up, and Google Translate automatically detects the language and spits it back out in English for me. Look, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10. To put icing on the cake, I can type my response in English, have it translated to Spanish, and respond back like a multilingual boss. <laughs> Tell me that's not cool. Growing up, I thought it was so cool whenever I would see people sign contracts in movies. Yeah, I was a weird kid. Now that I'm older, it's more annoying than anything. Filling and signing PDF documents and contracts is easily the most businessy thing I do with the S Pen. Write on PDF is what I used to use, but I've recently discovered Zodo, X-O-D-O, I think it's pronounced Zodo. It offers a lot more functionality like highlighting, saved signatures, text input, and just feels easier to use in general. Highly recommend if you deal with a lot of PDFs. The last thing I mainly use the S Pen for is photo editing. Having that pinpoint accuracy while in apps like Snapseed or Lightroom makes for a much better experience. I mean, I can get the job done with my thumb, but the S Pen is sort of like going from a trackpad to a mouse. I essentially edit all my pictures on my phone. That includes ones taken on my DSLR. That way I can edit photos whenever and wherever since my phone is always with me. 
Although I still jot down quick notes on the lock screen from time to time. When it comes to notes, dictating voice recordings is just way more efficient for me these days. For serious note taking or digital art, I've actually found a tablet makes more sense. It's bigger and doesn't have these curved edges that make it impossible to write near. Okay, that's essentially a roundup of what I use the S Pen for. There's a lot of features I thought I would use more, but just haven't found them too practical in my everyday life. At the end of the day, I don't think this is a must have for most people, but is it a great tool to have? Most definitely. It's one of those things where I might not touch the S Pen for a couple of weeks and then someone sends me a contract and I'm like, thank goodness for this guy. I appreciate you. On the flip side, you might buy a note and realize you don't touch the S Pen at all. In that case, honestly, I would just opt for something else. The S Pen has a growing list of features, some of which are useful and others, eh. So definitely do your research to see if the S Pen is worth the price of admission. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.